Hi guys, today was our fourth and final road trip day to Washington. We are currently in Seattle, sleeping in a Holiday Inn. We drove a thousand miles today, so I'm really tired. It's like, what time is it right now, 9.30? It's 9.30 here, 12.30 there. So, yeah, I'm tired. Uh, so I'll start out with how we usually start out. We got on the road by 7. It'd be 9 o'clock there at home. There was like no civilization for hours. And then we turn around this because we were in like these mountainous, not really mountainous, but like hilly areas. And we get around this one hill and all of a sudden we see this small town out of nowhere. And it's like real country town. Like we thought we lived in the country. It's like <laughs> we lived in like a small town compared to this. Um, just little trailers all sitting right on top of each other and every one of them had like their lawns weren't mowed and if it was getting mowed it was like by a cow that was fenced into its yard and people would just when they didn't want their their vehicles anymore they would just park them in the hills behind their house so there was like more cars and vehicles than there were houses you know and some houses didn't have windows and stuff but I don't know it was real uh, country-ish uh, we saw a lot of cows again, and also something that's really interesting that we saw was we saw these ranchers herding their cows. It was really cool, like guys on horses running around and getting the cows moving. That was interesting to see. I don't know. I just... <laughs> and meanwhile, Chance is like, I really think it's pretty, but I would never want to live out here. And meanwhile, I'm like, I love it here. Montana is officially my favorite state so far. And she loves Chicago. <laughs> um, we turned another corner around a mountain and look what we see ahead of us are the Rocky Mountains. So that was pretty cool. They were like in the distance, like in a blue haze of, and you just saw them in the distance and they, you could see like the white tips and it was just so pretty. I could just imagine, I don't know, living out in that area and just waking up to seeing that in the morning. It, I don't know. It was unbelievable. Unbelievable. The Adirondacks back at home looked like little hills covered in trees compared to the Rockies. It was just like a picture off a postcard. I don't know. I've never seen anything like it. That was so fun to see. And there were what? There was snow. And it's 110 degrees where we were. So, yeah, that was... <laughs> it's weird. It's weird to see when you're sweating to death and you see there's snow on the top of these mountains. Um, then we saw, we went to this gas station, and there was two cowboys there. <laughs> they were cuties. <laughs> I tried not to stare, but it was a little hard. <laughs> then, also, something about, um, the mountains and stuff is, you'll just be driving, and it's all these pine trees, giant pine trees, and you'll turn a corner, and just all of a sudden, for, like, acres and acres, you just see dead, burnt, skeleton-like trees where there had been a forest fire and it's really sad to see because everything was just like so alive and sudden just like that it's all dead and then there's a point where it just stops and it's all alive again and you'll turn another corner and you see the same thing and it's really sad to see it's almost like depressing looking because it's like reminds me of um like a nightmare on the nightmare before christmas how that's all the forest he goes in <laughs> And then, oh, I also saw some wild horses. That was really, oh, they were so, oh, and we saw wild buffalo. But the wild horses, I was just so excited to see that because, I don't know, wild horses, I mean, come on. <laughs> Montana is just filled with ranches galore. It's just ranch, every, everything's ranch, everything's fenced in. It's like the hills have eyes. But it's all wide open, like the hills have eyes. You could be getting watched and you don't even know because you're driving for like hours with no civilization. It's like if you you hit a city, you're going to want to stop and get gas because if you leave it, you don't know when you're going to get another city. And there's a couple of times when we were getting pretty low on gas and we didn't, we were like nervous because there's no towns nearby and yeah, we didn't really want to get stranded in the middle of Montana hills and stuff where like the hills of eyes can get us. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> Montana also had gold mines, and Chance and I got some pictures at the top of a top of, top of part of the mountain, looking down at it all, and you could just see um, 
where they're digging it out. We didn't know what it was until we saw the sign that said it was gold mines. So that was different and scary because we're on the top of a mountain looking down. And there's no guardrails anywhere. You're driving down the mountain and there's no guardrails. It's like, how ridiculous is that? Until we finally, there was some. <laughs> we finally got smart. Maybe they had some experiences. So, uh, yeah. So we drove through, I don't know, we got through the rest of them. We got through Montana, Idaho, and Washington. And we thought the Rockies were impressive when we got to the Cascade Mountains. Where it was, was just like a whole different type of hill mountain. And all the Rockies were, like you were driving up in them, but at the Cascades, you were down at the base of them. So when you're looking at your, when you're like, hmm, it's a tall mountain. <laughs> um, so yeah. Oh yeah. Also, we hit another time difference. I don't know if you remember me saying that, but so it's a three hour, three hour difference now, and that's the way it's gonna stay. So yeah, tomorrow we're going to go check out our house and stuff and get everything ready. So, hope you enjoyed this webcast. I'm really tired, so I love you all. Good night.